is uh, how you get twice as much pleasure on a victory than any other motorcycle out there and how well these bikes will handle three up. So if you ever have to explain to your wife that you were in training for a threesome, you can always refer back to videos that you shot from this and she'll understand. You heard him right. Mike's favorite time of the day here on this. Okay, when we take off, the first thing you're going to notice is I don't, I don't pick the kickstand up. I let the bike do it on its own. Victory has a firm belief in the safety, which I'm not demonstrating by having two beautiful women on the bike with me. But we show that the kickstand won't take the motorcycle down. Guys that are riding bikes and your kickstand will, 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 will could cause you an accident or something. That's simply ridiculous. With the Vision or the Victory throwing bikes, etc. Kickstands aren't a problem. So I'm going to ride around and let everybody see that the kickstand's down on this motorcycle. As you can see, the kickstand will stay down until it makes contact with the surface. That's what it's designed for, so it won't cause any problems for anybody. Kickstand just came up. with victory and, and with a victory you actually get double the pleasure with owning a victory That's his favorite joke. He said it three times. as you can see I'm just taking it real easy nice and slow don't have to don't have to try and go real quick hardly any rpms I'm idling through the problem very simple bikes very well balanced even though right now I'm a little bit more top heavy than I normally am what a smooth ride. We're loving this. Do you really think I'm that smooth? Oh. That didn't happen. You didn't see that. It was their foot that touched it, wasn't the bike. Right. And can you believe they're paying, they're paying me to do this, guys? I just want you to know. And we do have openings. Being single isn't a requirement, but it does help. So if you guys want to apply, the big guy that just put the cone back, we're replacing him because he's crashed three times a day. So if you want, you can, you can apply for his job. Uh, it's a $100 application fee. Just give it to him. And uh, we'll call you if you're going to be uh, invited back for testing. The only prerequisite is you can't have a prior criminal record. We take women with body painting first, so just keep that in mind, ladies, if you want to come on the back of this bike. He was distracted by the titty top. See how smooth this bike is, even three up. Ladies, do you feel uh, like it's going to tip over or anything? Not at all. You feel secure? Totally. And I like never ride on the back of a motorcycle without feeling secure. I love Victory motorcycles. So you feel very secure. Do you feel secure with your boyfriend as much as you do with me right now? All right. All right. No. What? He's got to stop. That's why he got dumped. He's going to ride a Victory. Oh. This presentation was supposed to be over like half an hour ago. Uh, I still got half a tank of gas. I, I, get I think it. we have a yeah, little way yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, you're not fooling anybody. You like the ladies on the back. And uh, you guys, he could be here for the next hour. So just but get everybody, comfortable. Can everybody try. see how easy this bike just maneuvers through this stuff? No high RPMs. I'm just idling. I'm not even giving it any throttle. It's just simply going through the problem. Now I'm going to show you the tip over protection after I let these beautiful ladies off and to show you one of the safety features of the touring bikes of the Victories. You can go ahead and get off. You know. Oh, sorry. You know he's going to get off. They're going to get off right now, but you know he's going to get off later. Thank you very much.
give these ladies a hand for helping out. We really appreciate it. Give it up to the big three ladies. Now what I'm going to do, the bike's down right now. It's on the tip over points that are replaceable on this motorcycle. So if you do wind up grinding them off, no big deal. Two bolts on the front, one three bolts on the rear. They come off very easily. But here's the really cool thing about this motorcycle and the real important thing for you guys as riders. Notice how the tires are not off the ground. The reason that's important is with every other motorcycle out there, when you go sideways and you start sliding, the first thing that happens is it picks the tires off the ground. Well, when your tires come up off the ground, if you're in a slide, let's say you're in the Black Hills, you blow a corner, you're sliding, and the tires come off the ground, the best thing to do at that point is to take your hands off the handlebars, tuck your head between your knees, and kiss it goodbye because it's over. With a victory, if you start sliding, Simply gas it, the bike will come back up. All you gotta do is hit the throttle, the bike will come right back up. Now, if you're in the middle of a big slide, you're like, well, what's my choice? Try and make the corner or go off into the woods? I'd hit the throttle first. But even if you can't make the corner, stay down, keep your feet on the floorboards. Why? Our floorboards do not tip up. Your feet and ankle will be protected. Stay on the floorboards, ride it out. If you're gonna hit something, let the suspension and the tires take the impact, not your body, not the front end of the motorcycle. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pick this bike up. Just remember, this is our biggest, heaviest motorcycle out there. And you watch how the low center of gravity allows me to pick this up. Matter of fact, I was just down in Rocky Point, I dropped it in the middle of the street, and I had my girlfriend pick it up for me, just so I could tell everybody that their girlfriends couldn't pick up their Harleys. So I got a lot of points off of that one. Now that's the wrong way to pick up a motorcycle. It's better to turn around and back into it with a void slip. But that's how balanced this motorcycle is. Now the reason that's important, do I have any ladies here that like to dance? Anyone like to dance? Any guys that like to dance? Well let me tell you let me tell you a little story. If they feel clumsy and heavy on the dance floor, that's the way they're gonna feel in the bedroom. Okay? There's no difference. A motorcycle's the same way. When they feel light and nimble coming up off the kickstand, like I'm bringing this one up right now, okay, that's the way they handle it, slow speed maneuvers. That's when everybody drops their bikes. Slow speed maneuvers. Now to show you, I'm a little heavy. Not as heavy as pork chop, but at 250 pounds, I'll walk right up on this bike on the high side. The bike will not want to come over. Notice how the bike does it? Because it's low center of gravity. That's how well balanced the motorcycle is. So we hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thanks for coming by.